Hey guys, we're out here with Scott LaRue of Ten Strings Tavern Podcast. Try to do like a little Veterans Day hunt. He's a retired Air Force, correct? Yes, sir. We uh, did a first morning sit in a very heavy populated area typically. Ended up getting in there, getting set a little later than we would like to have. Right after we got set up, within 10 minutes, a little seven point walk the ridge line, like about 60, 80 yards away from us thinking to myself, man, this is going to be a pretty good, productive morning. Right. And then from there, it was basically chirping of the birds the rest of the Listen, day. Listen, I, I heard more cow chatter this morning <laughs> than I have, I think, my entire life. So, uh, no, it was, again, it was great just getting back in the woods. We had talked before we'd done this and digging out all my old hunting gear. I pulled out tags from the last time I went hunting, which was 2004, so almost 20 years since the last wow. time I've been out in the woods so it was just great getting that uh in that blind at, and when it's dark and then uh as the sun starts coming up it's that perfect time of day and it's just I, I it's it was great even though we didn't see squat to take a shot at <laughs> but you know it was still it was it was great but uh this is uh, fortunately just part one cause yeah now we'll, correct <laughs> now we got to do an evening hunt maybe another morning hunt so we'll uh we'll get something on camera or at least uh at least if not if not a good shot on a deer like you said just even not having anything to shoot at just being out here and being able to like catch up more with you tell some more stories and learn more about you like that's what it's all about that's 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 what i like about it too and like you mentioned sending those old tags of 2004 2006 (laughs) back when they were still green and yep. you got the lime green the printed ones. And, yeah and the, the hot pink, <laughs> hot uh, pink. Tags. they did that one too yeah uh, but yeah it was uh and I, I gotta admit like when we started setting this up i i became like a like a kid at christmas i was i was so excited i you know i like we talked about it on the drive in this morning i woke up like 45 minutes before my alarm went off i was just i couldn't wait like uh i'm you know excited that you guys invited me out but still like you said it's just it getting back uh back home in ohio and it's just this this landscape that it's sometimes forgotten or not known by a lot of people it's just it, it feels good to be home and out in the field so we, i mean we'll get it it's first yep. first week in november there's still time that's it plenty of time left well like you said there's going to be more hunts and more opportunities absolutely so we're excited so, to be able to capture that in the future yeah it was great man so uh like i said first time out that's fine didn't get to see anything but it was just it's it's good to be out there so i'm excited so i guess on to part two on to part two that's That's it it. <laughs> you cranked him. Holy. Wow. He went. He, oh. he ran right where I, I'm going. Oh. He, I saw him, that I saw him take that left leg go just, just, as, just, just as he started to step forward. You hit it. I hit him. Perfect. And it was just, I just perfect. could see it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Wow. Yes. Let's go. My first ever book. Well, Obe, looks like we ran into a classic scenario of why they call it hunting and not killing. Scott made what looked to be a wonderful shot on an amazing buck. Made the jump kick, ran hard and crashed into the woods. So we backed out, went to the house, talked about the experience that we just went through, chatted with the with dad a little bit yep. and then you you got to talk to pap and explain like what we what we saw what we went through <coughs> so we decided finally we we're going to go track this buck as we go out to where scott made the shot on it 
we find the arrow right away and see right where the broadhead mm -hmm. screws into the arrow. It's snapped off right there. So we just knew he hit square right in the shoulder, yep. snapped it. Unfortunate for the hunter, for Scott, but good for the deer because we know he's going to live. So we have, what do we got, extra trail cameras out there right now to see when that buck appears again. And if he does, get Scott another chance at him. Yeah, and like you said, we've all been there. Got to be sick to your stomach. Man, <laughs> lose some sleep for sure. But we're going to get that buck to come back in. We're going to find it on camera. And now it's personal. Yeah, definitely yeah. made it personal. Yeah, so we're definitely going to get Scott back here. We're going to find that buck, get Scott back on here, and we're going to track it down. Make sure you stay tuned to Outward Outdoors. <laughs>